there. Well, this week is Computer Science Education Week. Perfect here on the Browser 5.0 to talk about it. Dedicated to inspiring K through 12 uh, students to pursue computer science by getting them involved in everything from coding to robotics. You name it, they can do it. Coding is a big deal. Lots of groups and companies, they are offering free resources to help kids get involved and also get their parents involved, which is key. We've got Sydney Tetro from the Women Count Tech Council here to show us some of these programs and tell us how we can all get involved, especially as we head towards that break in Christmas. Yeah, absolutely break. And computer science is, is a critical skill for all of our students, which is why this week is really focused on it. The governor yesterday also announced funding to help get computer science education in all of our schools. So this is a critical skill set for our kids. So what are the ways that we inspire them, right? And how do you make them interested play in something? Game. That's right, play, play games. games. And that's what I love about what's happening in computer science. There are these hour of code uh, modules, which are really about how can you spend one hour inspiring your kids into code and then that create a, a lifelong path for them. Okay. How important is it and what age should we start thinking about as parents getting our kids involved down this path? When should we try to, I don't know, I feel like uh, computers are just everywhere. Uh, yep. And so kids are gonna gravitate to them on their own eventually. When I should we start- are better at the iPad than I am. Yeah, putting them on that path. That's right, I, is very, very early. Mm -hmm. And there are now a whole set of toys that have even cr been created. I love the Coda Pillar. Yeah. You know, it's the six month, six month age. Because what you're trying to do is teach a way of thinking, right? That you can create organized structures of instructions, right. and then as a result, something does something. Okay. So when you think about these Hour of Code modules, they become really creative ways to introduce our kids to all sorts of subjects they already know about, but then apply them to computer science. Okay, let's talk about some of the games that we were, were, were leading into here. The first one, Dance Party Module? Yes, okay, so these are really just Hour of Code. Spend an hour, learn to code. Okay. okay, so dance party. How about if we can basically code, you know, little characters and teach them dance moves. And so in the dance party move, you know, there's things like, can you do the floss? Can you teach them to do the dab? <laughs> How many times do they do the dab? Oh. And so you create these instruction sets and then the character cool. actually does that. And it's all based on your own creativity. Wow, That's and cool. does that start at like a certain level? Is that could that be a beginner? It could be absolutely, absolutely beginner. beginner. And level. the modules get harder, so there's all sorts of hour of code modules as Ooh. you increase. I'm so getting this one for my kids. Okay, okay. you should Let's expose. Let's talk about yeah. uh, tech art by WTC. Yeah, so a couple of years ago, we decided we needed to, to invest in hour of code modules to help inspire some of our high school girls into coding. So uh -huh. we wanted one that married both art and technology. So we created one where, as they code inside of that, they actually create these art tiles oh. that they are created as outputs that they can then use, You're which coding, is really fun. It's a, the new way to color, in a sense. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, with code. Okay, the Minecraft. Okay, Minecraft, yeah. right? That's They're, a familiar Yeah, <laughs> I know that <laughs> one. Yeah, so there's an hour of code module for Minecraft. How do we teach Alex and Steve to go on an adventure? Right, and so we can build buildings, we can create paths for them, and you can do all of these interactions that you're creating the code versus just the building blocks of the normal interaction. Now you're stepping another layer deeper and teach and really actually programming the game. Wow. And finally, the Grinch module. The okay. Grinch. That's perfect for this time That's of year, it sounds thought. like. We yeah. thought we're like holiday, hour of code tied to the Grinch. In this case, you're teaching Max all sorts of different activities. Ah. And so you can see on this screen, at the very top, it goes from modules one through 20. So these hour of code modules build on each other. So I might teach you one instruction set, and then it gets more complicated, and then you repeat, and then you just continue to learn. And the cool part is, in an hour, someone all of a sudden realizes, our kids they realize something. they can do it. Here's the thing, so if I'm gonna log on to one of these pages, I, I, will I know what to do to get them going? Yep. You will. It'll walk me like through Like that Grinch page we were just yeah. looking at, you hit, hit the Grinch hour of code and it says step one. Cause said, we both know, I have no clue how to do <laughs> You got this, you I'm got a little this. worried that my child's gonna be like, mom, I'm like, yeah, it's like math, I don't know. But I think that's what's so cool is that it is, anyone can sit in front and, and then you, you get the success of doing it. Yeah. And then that gives you the success for the future. And all of our kids need yeah. a core understanding of computer science. And you feel better about letting your kids be on the iPad, for the sure. computer. Isn't that wild that though? Exactly. I mean, as young as six months to think of 10, 15 years ago. Because they're doing the color code. Yeah, yeah. you never thought of this. And now it's almost a necessary requirement is. to get them ready for school. I feel like I want Sid to raise my kids. <laughs> Sid, come over. <laughs> we'll we'll over just have you guys at our house once a week. <laughs> no, I have coding class every week. <laughs> Thank you.